Hello! Pottery is a huge subject. There's so much to learn, but I thought it would be really helpful for me to cover a few basics for those people who are total beginners. First things first, health and safety. There's quite a few things to consider with pottery, but the main one is the dust. Ceramic is made of tiny particles called silica. Now silica are microscopic, you can't see it. So when the dust is in the air, you won't know. You don't want to be breathing in clay dust. It's not very good for you. I try and keep my pottery studio as clean as possible. So any clay I get on surfaces or tools, I will wipe down when wet. You don't want to let it dry and turn dusty. If you get clay on your clothes, don't be tempted to scratch it off. Just pop it straight in the washing machine and it'll come right out. There are loads of different types of clays, but the main clays that you might hear talked about are earthenware, stoneware, porcelain, raku, and air drying clay. Now the type of clay refers to what it's made from, its qualities such as strength and finish, and what temperature you need to fire that clay at. Most ceramics need to be fired in a kiln. You won't be able to produce ceramics in your home oven, but it's absolutely fine to practice with air drying clay. Air drying clay will only be able to use for decorative purposes. You won't be able to use it for containing water or for food. It just isn't strong enough and also it's not fully vetrified, but it can be used for pen pots or dried flowers. There are four main states of clay. Raw clay, which is the stuff when it's come straight out of the ground or out of the bag. Greenware, which is before it's been fired. Clay at the greenware stage can be recycled as many times as you'd like. Bisqueware, this is when the clay has been in the kiln once, been fired up to about 1000 degrees. This makes it easier to handle. It's still porous, so you can absorb glaze, but it's also not as delicate as greenware. You can't recycle clay at this stage, it's permanent. And glazeware, this is essentially when it's finished, after glazing it and it's fired to its final temperature. Shrinkage. Now shrinkage catches a lot of people out. The clay shrinks as it goes through its making processes. Some clay shrinks by up to 20%. Bear this in mind when you're making. So many newbies end up with thimbles when they thought they were gonna be mugs. Your clay supplier will be able to tell you the shrinkage rate of your clay. It's usually in the description online. So this has been totally top line and I haven't nearly covered everything here but it might give you a little bit of a basic understanding before you go on to watch the tutorials. If you're at home right now and you don't have access to a kiln, save up your projects and fire them when everything's back to normal. Most pottery supply stores offer a firing service. Okay, have fun. Can't wait to see what you make.